back to Kayla Marie K's channel for vintage beauty, fashion, and slow living, slow lifestyle. A little bit of bringing it all in from eras gone by to today to go forth and teach our children a new way, actually the old way of living, um, to have a fulfilled life. And today I have actually a fashion themed video. We are going to look at underpinnings, um, foundations, um, girdles, shapewear, what do they call it? Uh, nowadays is shapewear or Spanx, but I'm not looking at Spanx, that's a brand name. Um, I am looking at vintage shapewear. So girdles, corsets, and all that beautiful underpinnings, like Christian Dior said, without foundations, there is no fashion. And how did they get the looks back then? That hourglass figure, that lifted bust, that fuller bottom. <laughs> it was with foundations. And there is a beautiful company in the UK called What Katie Did that remakes these fashions. And I actually have a box from them. So I'm super excited to do this unboxing and I'm excited to see what there is. I'm going to be trying things on off camera and then placing them in here or somewhere. Um, I'll do like short videos or pictures and just placing it in here so that way we can see how each piece looks. But I am excited because I am more curvy. I have a 38 double D I have a 32 waist and my hips are like a 42. My butt is a little bit bigger than that. I'm pretty curvy. So I'm excited to see how these undergarments will work for me and look under my clothes because like I said, without foundations, there is no fashion. By the way, this gorgeous dress is 1940s reproduction from Loco Linda LA. I will link them below shop there they are so beautiful for 1940s and 50s but i feel like they do 40s really well reproduction clothing now here we go into the unboxing okay so here we go into the unboxing it's really beautiful oh, under here <laughs> it's all set up so gorgeously with a brochure and some other little goodies. So these are some paper goods. I'll post those in my Instagram stories. Um, each thing is packaged so beautifully. Like, ugh, it just looks like a gorgeous, gorgeous gift. So here we go. First little package. The ribbon has what Katie did on it, and I love it. All the little stickers. You can hear ruffling and everything else. I'm sorry. Okay. So here we have the 1940s. Let me get the name right. 1940s bra. C112, I think that's the number. She numbers them so that they're all in the same category. But look at how beautiful the little details that make it look so, I mean, she does things that are so authentic. And I can't wait to try this on. 38 double D. And then we have the black suspender belt. Also, it's the CC09. So this is, yeah, this is in the C class, which I don't have the numbers here. I just want to make sure. Oh, and everything that she has is hand wash because when we hand wash our things, we take better care of them. We love them. I will do a video on how to hand wash lingerie, how to hand wash vintage as well. So look out for that. Look at this. 
gorgeous suspender belt with six belts. All of the belts have metal clasps and the little rubber part where you put um, your stockings. So I cannot wait, I cannot wait to try all this on, even all together. It's gonna look amazing. Okay. I think that was it in that little package. Okay. Well, let's go. No, we'll save the big one for after. We'll go into this one. Beautiful. I think I know what this is because it's a little bit heavier than the other package. Excuse again, all the ruffling of everything. <laughs> it's like my birthday. <laughs> just unwrapping my gifts oh yes so this is my first corset this year was the year I dedicated to corseting I want to really dive deep into corseting I have worn foundations and undergarment um underpinnings and everything like girdles for for years so now I've been like building up to like wanting to corset well I've always wanted to corset but building up to corseting let's look this one is their demi corset which they described to me as something to help you prepare for corseting like but it is still boned it just has their power mesh so it moves with your body still and a traditional corset the ones that they make it's all like this to where it's sewn together there is no stretch it forms your body and you have to form to it basically so this is like a good little it's like a training bra for a corset but it's gorgeous in this peach this vintage peach it still laces up the back so I'm just I'm super excited to try this I am super excited to try this on I did get this let me see did they tell me what size this one was they do these ones in off the shelf sizing so I believe I got this in a, a 30 inch waist, which would be a UK 12. Don't quote me. I'm going to find out. I thought it was on here, but I don't see the little tags. Here we go. Okay. UK 14, US 10. So like I said, I'm usually a 32 inch waist, but they told me that this would shrink down to a 30 waist. And that's what I was going for because with my traditional girdles and everything that I wear now, everything goes to a 30 waist. So this is just to help me get used to corseting. And I'm super excited. It's peach, it's beautiful. Bringing the vintage vibes. Okay. Moving all this along to the big package. Ah! I love it, it's like Christmas in February. It's all gearing up for Valentine's Day, which, is my partner's birthday. So we celebrate his birthday and since we are in love, we celebrate our love and his birthday. Valentine's Day is one of my favorite holidays. So when he told me his birthday was on Valentine's Day, I knew it was meant to be. Oh my goodness. It's just a bunch of peach gorgeousness. Okay, let's go through it. What do we want to see first? Let's go to the obvious, the bra. This one, I believe, let me double check, is the 1940s bra, just like the black one, but it's in peach. It's again in a 38 double D. It looks like it's going to fit perfectly. I just can't wait to try all this on. I measured myself to their measurements that they have a, online. And you can also ask them, and they have the best um, group of people helping, you pick out your garments. So again, this is in peach, but look at the details. It's just really, it's really beautiful. I do want to sew some lingerie this year, but I don't think it's going to come out this gorgeous. Oh my God, it's just freaking beautiful. Let me tell you, 1940s bra, it 
for some reason these ones don't have the numbers like the other ones but I know that she has them all with a letter C in front of them online so that was the peach bra this I already know is the bullet bra the Harlow bullet bra it is also in a 38 double D it looks so glamorous I cannot wait I'm telling you the the feeling of the fabric is beautiful the detailing in here I'm just like can you even see it look at the sheen it's you guys so gorgeous it does have a little bit of a stretch right here but other than that this is not stretchy material not like we're used to with traditional bras so be aware of that but there is a little bit of stretch back here so you got a little bit of give but make sure you do your measurements right when buying so that you don't have to send anything back and let's see what do we have here the harlow suspender belt which is in peach which i'm dying for these peach vibes first off like my undertones this goes good with i'm more warm this is my vibe black is always sexy but peach is just so girly i love it it's also got the metal clasps and beautiful white rubber for your stockings let's see what do i have here these are the knickers the harlow knickers so i did order a size bigger because i have a bigger bum than i do a waist Usually I'd be a large and everything, but I got like an extra large. So I am hoping these fit my big bum. <laughs> we'll do a try on and check. But either way, they're just gorgeous. I mean, really sheen, like, ugh. Beautiful. The peach, guys. It's so gorgeous. Okay, this is, I don't know. The French knicker. So knickers is another word for like, it, back then, it would have been, like, part of your underwear. So these are, I think these are the size 12. So US 12, UK 16. They have, like, factory stretch of the fabric, but it's not super stretchy. But still, they button up the side. Very cute little pearlescent buttons very cute little shorts they need to be steamed out but very cute i think i think my bum will fit in these i think my bum could have fit in a large but i got the extra large um undies and what do we have here is the glamour long line girdle also in peach this is in the uk 16 us 12. i'm thinking I probably could have done the U US 10 just because my waist is smaller but I didn't want any rolling of the top which in her videos and everything she says that it doesn't roll this is boned I'm just super excited for this because this like smooths girdles like smooth your line all the way down so I'm excited for this this looks super glamorous peach and vintage Oh my God. Also has the metal belts and the little rubber clasps. So I'm super excited for all the peach and all the girliness. And this is so Valentine's Day. I can't wait. I'm gonna do like a photo shoot. I should, I should do like a vintage photo shoot with those. And lastly, we have stockings. Let's see what I got. We've got Oh, chocolate latte? Cuban heel ones? Champagne. That's what the CH is for. Champagne. So champagne, latte, Cuban heels, champagne and coffee. I love that. That's a darker brown. And champagne and black. So these ones are more like the neutral. And then these are going to look so good with that peach. I'm excited. Can you tell? And then, um, and these are all in size medium large. I do have thick thighs, so we're going to see how these go. But I know with stockings, you got to really make sure that they're your size and you don't want to go too big because of the garter belts. Um, and you don't want to go too small because 
then they're going to roll and they're going to pinch and they're not going to feel amazing. But I do wear stockings. I usually have been wearing um, the ones that come all the way up. What are they called? I can't think of it right now. But I have been going back to stockings because now that I am not uh, pregnant or anything, I don't need the other ones. But that was my little haul, my little unboxing of my What Katie Did lingerie. I'm super excited to try everything on and tell you guys how it went. And then um, I also have future lingerie ones coming up. I think I have a Playful Promises um, with the Betty Page lingerie and Secrets in Lace for some long line strapless bras because I was in the market for strapless bras um but they're hard to find for vintage silhouettes so I found them on secrets and lace so for those unboxings and try-ons please come and check me out I also have one coming up from Amazon for vintage shapewear that you can find on Amazon to make it a little easier and just a bunch of fun stuff coming up so I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing I hope that you enjoy my try-ons and I'm just super grateful for you being here. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video and follow the link below. It's um, going to give me a little bit of a commission if you follow the What Katie Did link that I post below, but it's just to help support my channel and help us grow. And I'm super excited that they offered me a link and I love the brand. So please go to that link and help support me and I will see you in the next one. Here I'm trying on the 1940s bra and the 1940s suspender belt with the black and champagne contrast stockings. You can see that the stockings fit my thick thighs pretty well. Here's the suspender belt's details. So beautiful. I really love the details. Here's the beautiful bra. The band fits me, but I still feel like I get a lot of side boob right here. I did end up exchanging all of my bras for the 38E, just to let you guys know. So I'm usually a 38 double D, but I ended up doing an exchange, and they are really amazing with exchanges. Next is the Harlow Blit Bra with the Harlow Knickers and the Harlow Suspender Belt with the Champagne Stockings a little crooked but I was <laughs> here's the bullet bra I was kind of in a hurry to get these ones on I'm glad I went with the extra large panties they fit perfect I feel like the bullet bra fit in a 38 double D but I'm gonna try the E anyways here is the long line girdle and the 1940s peach bra still in the champagne stockings. I love this girdle. I am glad that it's a size 12. I thought I wanted a size 10, but considering the way it goes around my thighs, I do like this size better. It, there is no rolling. Everything's very glamorous. Lastly, we have the French knickers also wearing the 1940s bra beautiful little buttons on the side. These are super soft on the skin. I really love them. Subscribe for more. Hit the bell notifications. Thank you so much.